Folks, I just get these feelings that the whole world is headed for a tremendous jubilee. Oh yeah, like I just feel like it's coming. I feel like everyone's ready for it. I feel like everyone's ready to be happy and to forgive all of their debts to everyone else. I just feel like it's ripe. I can feel it. Everyone is actually ready to do this, okay? Including bankers. Well, and that, I believe the Spirit of God is just going to get a hold of every human worldwide and just be like, what are you doing? Like, why do you have a debt? Why does someone hold a debt over you? Why do you? And it's just going to be a jubilee, which is a worldwide canceling of all debts between humans. Period. That's just how it works. It's just, you just, it's, it happens instantly. It's just, you just say zero. That's it. It's just, whether you're a banker or a human or an organ, you just say zero. You don't have to pay me back anything. And we don't care because we have joy. Wow. Like, I just feel like that is totally coming to the world. Um, and it has to be the spirit of God. Okay. All of this is the Spirit of God. You cannot change the world or influence the world in any way without the Holy Spirit of God doing it. Okay? Um, that's it. And, and that is why um, beseeching the favor of God is the most important thing that anyone ever does. Moses interceded for people. Aaron interceded for people. Many people in history interceded for people. And it was because of that person or those people that God saved the world. I repeat, God saved the world. How did he do it? By his spirit. Okay. But he did it because he was pleased with the hearts and words of the intercessor or the intercessors. That's it. So do you see how the world gets saved? Do you see how the world gets changed? Okay. It gets changed and saved by one or more people winning the favor of God. That is to say, pleasing the heart of God. So much that God has mercy upon every person worldwide, okay? And visits every person worldwide, okay, with uh, dreams and visions, okay? His spirit, that's it. Just anything and everything that they need to be set free from everything. That's it. There you go. So that's why I'm saying... Don't underestimate uh, the power of the intercessor. Don't underestimate um, what God is looking for, okay, which is his pleasure. And then don't underestimate just how fast God can change the entire world in an instant by his power, by his spirit, okay? Um, mm. So that's why I can say these things, that I believe with all of my heart that there is a massive global jubilee coming that is going to be accomplished by the Holy Spirit of God. Okay? Um, that's it. Um, there you go. See, Moses cried out for people, and God relented from okay, the wrath that he was going to inflict upon large numbers of people. Okay, so it's all about calling upon Jehovah. Okay, it's all about calling upon the Lord. <laughs> That's it. Okay, um, and having a heart and life that pleases him. There's another famous verse in the Bible that says, says it this way, If my people who are called by my name will pray and seek my face, then I, saith the Lord, will hear from heaven, and I will, hear, and I will heal their entire land. Do you see that? Do you, do you see how all that the Christians have to do, all that the humans have to do, is 
please God individually at the highest level, and then God saves the world. God takes care of all the sinners on planet Earth by invading them with everything that they need. Signs, wonders, conviction, you name it. It's all his spirit. Okay. Um, eventually, God's spirit fills every human being worldwide so much okay, that, their, that their instincts are completely healed at all times, everywhere they go. Like, every thought they think and every move that they make and every choice that they make is bang on because they are completely filled with the Holy Spirit of God, okay? So all of this is going to be accomplished by God himself. <laughs> no organization, no group of humans, God himself, okay? Um, and it's going to be a fantastic jubilee and freedom. Enjoy.